You guys and Jessica, welcome to Talk in the Orville. It is so good to see you, to have you here. Thank you. See you. Uh, now I have, I prepared some questions because that's what we got to do today. Yes. So uh, let's talk some Orville. Jessica, first yes. off, congrats on the XOXO podcast. Thank you. And special extra congratulations on the upcoming nuptials. I love Thank love, you. so I loved hearing that. Uh, bes- <laughs> besides being the Orville's resident badass door smasher, Tala's entire family is known to be black sheep on their home world of Salea. Uh, being that military services look down upon on their planet, does that shape your portrayal of Tala? And what can we look forward to from Tala this season? Um, well, this season <laughs> is um, it's a bit of a bumpy ride for Tala. She has um she experiences some ups and downs in her career and some personal relationships, but Ed does find um, some more trust in Tala and gives her some more responsibility. And she does kind of find her like place with the crew. Um, but I'm, I'm just really excited for, for everything for this season, for everyone to, to tune in and take this ride with us because um, it's just going to be fun. The storylines are epic. The, I mean, even visually, when I've been watching lately, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm watching mini movies and just the topics that we tackle and that we get to kind of explore and do because we are in this space world. um, We kind of get to, like, dive in and and have, like, kind of a broader conversation about Mm -hmm. things. Um, And, yeah, I'm I'm really, really excited. Well, first off, I think Space World would have been an epic name subtitle for the season. The Orville space world would have been awesome uh and in electric sheep the the premiere episode we get close up and personal with charlie burke like right off the bat you're basically the star of much of the episode uh which was first time which was great yeah it was uh, honestly i love my introduction i'm so glad that it was written the way it was and um seeing it kind of all come together because we shoot very out of order so seeing Mm -hmm. that entire first episode was like, oh yeah, okay, wow. Like she, I mean, I knew that I was coming in hot and strong and like with a massive point of view of hating Isaac clearly, Mm -hmm. but seeing like that whole episode, I was like, okay, I like really feel bad for Isaac now. Like how can, how can she be so mean? Um, But no, it was, it was, that episode is a great introduction to her character and we'll just show the tip of the iceberg of the entire season for her yeah uh, well one of the things i was going to ask but you kind of you brought it up a little bit i was going to say why you got to do isaac like that i know like when (laughs) his eyes too it's it was very challenging for me uh as an actor to really look into those two blue eyes and somehow really hate him when he's so innocent you know and doesn't really have that mentality to Mm -hmm. even feel so i thought that that was really uh challenging but they definitely have a lot more conversations to come. And I'm, I'm curious to see what the audience takes away from Charlie's arc this season. Yeah. Uh, well, what are you, what does Charlie mean to you? You came into this, uh, you know, you, it's a new character to play and you got this whole space world around you to, to try and find her. Yeah. I mean, what is, what does she mean to me personally or what? Yeah. what personally. I, mean, I I feel like I brought a little bit of myself. Like, I feel like I can be a little bit like strong, like headed (laughs) or stubborn in certain ways. So I kind of played that up to a T and if anything, it kind of taught me, maybe I shouldn't be like that as much in my personal life, if anything, because it was so like overtly clear to me of her point of view, um, which I just now thought about actually. So that was, that was a great question. Um, But yeah, overall, I just, I, I genuinely just, really loved taking on this very strong character that had so much room to grow. So I'm, I'm, you'll, this, the arc of my character with Isaac and just the rest of the crew is really cool. And I I love taking on this role. I'm so glad I booked it. Like when I got, (laughs) I found out I booked this role. I was so excited. We were too. We were too. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I'd be happy to serve coffee on the set of the Orville. If that's Aww, all they have, take you up on that offer. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Jessica, the fans, we love seeing Tala rip things apart with their superior strength. But one thing I'd love to see Tala do is rip apart some fools. Like, how does Tala's superhero abilities affect the way you play her? And do we get some fools to pity in New Horizons? 
Um, well, <laughs> playing her and doing that, like I always found it interesting because of the um like the gravity, like when I remember like breaking this down and understanding like who Tala was and why she has these powers was so like fascinating and interesting to me. And kind of like, I was like, Oh, Seth's brain just works on a different level. Um, and there's a lot of physical stuff this year, like a lot. Um, and I'm very excited for you to see, you're going to have to tune in because I can't give away too too much. <laughs> oh, I get it. I it get is it. cool to see. Like that would be challenging. Cause I, I mean, to play that strength and then see the CGI kind of all come together. That's mm. like, it's, it's cool to see. From yeah. I mean, I just want to see uh, a, a Tala or any Solange really just go on there and put their bare hands and take care of a, a, a Kalon squad business. or something like that. Yeah. Well, you know, what's also so interesting on, on our show, like going in, like our eye lines are all over the place because mm-hmm the different setups when you're on the, or uh, on the ship or in, on, you know, anything with looking out into the space, into space, your eye lines are literally like you're, we're talking to X's bright, you know, John's is yellow. Mine's pink. Mine was pink all season. Was yours orange? I, I, are you, are you colors, colors, but but I have, have, I have no idea. Idea. I'm glad that that's not one of your questions. <laughs> Challenging. I'd be like, okay, I got to talk to John here. And then I have to talk to Ed here and Kelly here. But yet, there. I'm here this with this. It's just a, also, it was, you're also looking at completely different, like completely different characters or species or things that are literally not even made yet. So it's mm. like, oh, like a dinosaur. So in my mind, you're thinking like a normal dinosaur, and then mm. when you see it come together, it's like some crazy thing that I would have never even thought of in a million years, like somehow come together and look realistic that we're yeah. looking at. You know what I mean? Because you're creating. Yeah. Just well, this your imagination has to, has to do part of that work for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Like I, I keep saying to walk onto a spaceship and be this alien and be able to work with some of the best actors and bring these storylines to life. I'm, I'm like, have to pinch myself and sometimes be like, am I really getting paid to do this? This is awesome. <laughs> getting paid to pinch yourself. That sounds like a good <laughs> job. Uh, why should fans of the Orville come along to New Horizons? Because Charlie, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, Some you know. will. I've been doing this a while. All the characters have their own, you know, subgroups of fans. Yeah. Well, there's each episode is like a mini movie, and we take you on this journey that is. We've just put our blood, sweat, and tears into this. We're so excited for everyone to take this ride with us. Buckle up because it's going to be a big, bumpy, fun one. Um, but there's I- so many the storylines, the the visual effects, the the music, the, the, the acting. I mean, it's just every little piece of the puzzle that make a show successful and, and um, fun yeah. to watch and be a part of. I think we've, we've hit it right on the head. So I'm, I'm, I hope a that lot of, like, just as an outsider, I obviously binged the show before I got on, but overall, like not only aesthetically, not only CGI, storyline being on Hulu being like a little bit over an hour and like having mini movie time slots is nice but it's just overall upgraded like the mm-hmm. set was upgraded completely oh, yeah. it's so realistic it's so cool the um the, the cast <laughs> was <laughs> upgraded I wasn't gonna say that but thank you <laughs> and um yeah just everything was kind of elevated and it took Cause when I first started watching the show season one, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a comp, it's very comedic. But my role that I auditioned for was not like that at all. So they kind of made a really like smooth transition into this new season that kind of brings both the very seriousness of these topics or these storylines, but also still maintaining that fun that we need. And Scott Grimes definitely brings that for sure. Well, that's what I was gonna ask you if I have time. Yeah, I do. I was gonna say, uh, and you and Scott are the new front of house duo on the bridge. How was it working with Scott? And uh, what are you looking forward to the audience seeing from these two characters? Um, <laughs> I Working with Scott was was great and also sometimes frustrating because when you're trying really hard to like have a straight face, it's hard to have someone just cracking a joke at like random times when, you know, we have days on the bridge where, you literally are doing one thing and maybe you don't have a line, but you are still maintaining like a battle like mode, you know? And sometimes you forget like where in the script you are, but when you have to maintain a serious face and you realize like how dumb you might be looking and he cracks a joke, it's so hard to kind of keep that. He actually (laughs) brought that up about working with you that, you know, you kept him grounded 
while he was, you know, getting goofy at certain part, at certain stages yes. in the process. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'll see like just a good bond. They, I mean, they do bond in even episode one that you see, you know? Mm. Um, so they just, they're really good friends. I, I really like their relationship and working with him side by side was a blast. Well, it He's- looks like it's time to wrap. And my time with both of you was a blast. Uh, thank, thank you, you for boy. stopping by, even though I kind of am the one that stopped by and <laughs> and I uh, hope to talk to you guys soon. Thank you.